past month, if not longer, we have found mold, raw chicken, um, rotten fruit, to very, very tiny portions of, and sour milk in multiple KUSD lunches. And, or sorry, multiple KUSD high schools. Um, as of right now, we have over 1,800 signatures from, um, for, from this petition to bring forth these really, really bad lunches from students, teachers, parents, grandparents, and even strangers. No student expects some sort of five-star banquet meal at lunch like this. That's not what we want. All we want is edible and decent tasting food. If you ask a child what their favorite time of school is, you will get one of three answers. Going home, recess time, lunch. We just want decent and cooked food. This is not happening to just the high schools across the district. This is happening to the elementary and middle schools as well. You cannot have younger children whose bodies are not fully developed yet eat indulge in raw or an edible lunch. Um, but I believe it does have to be addressed to top here. Um, because students in QSD are attending classes hungry after lunch every single day. Um, although Indian Trail has lost its Title I status, there are many students with food insecurity who are going without food or eating food that could potentially make them incredibly sick. Thank you. Here at Indian Trail, my friends and I have been served multiple raw and moldy food items this year. I decided to post an online petition to see if others outside of my friend circle also observed the same. Currently, the online petition has over 1,800 signatures from people all over KUSD, indicating that this is not just a problem that only ITA faces, but one that affects all of KUSD. This is why I am here tonight. On a handful of occasions, I have received raw food for lunch. For the most part, it is the chicken that is the problem. A large number of students speak of how the chicken is pink and gooey on the inside, and that the spicy chicken sandwiches we get served give students food poisoning. But we can change this. The raw meat issue can easily be solved if proper temperature measuring steps are employed. The quality of the prepackaged food appears to be an issue from the provider, whether that is due to their quality control, temperature storage, or shipping time. It may be prudent to take random sampling of prepackaged food on a daily basis. Even these small steps may evaluate the amount of money KUSD is spending on moldy, unhealthy foods that no one wants to eat. So as a student at KUSD, I have I am asking the board today to investigate and evaluate the food practices and quality of the food being served. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful rest of your evening.